Hi and welcome to another episode of Peacemake TV. In today's video for WordPress, we're going to be taking a look at a new update and some new plugins that have been added to the Astra theme the last couple of days. This is the new blog and site layouts in Astra Pro. So you must make sure that you've got the Astra Pro version to get access to these new add-ons. But I'm going to take you through and show you some of the basics of what these can do and how they allow you to customize your blog section of your website. So let's just jump into WordPress and take a look at these in action. So like I said at the opening of this video, you need to have Astra Pro installed. If you haven't got it installed, you consider purchasing it. They're running a 30% off discount at the time of recording this video for Black Friday. So you can grab that at a great discount. If you are thinking of purchasing Astra Pro, please consider using the affiliate link in the description below. It gives a small percentage back to the channel and helps us to create more content for you in the future. Anyway, once installed, you're going to see in the add-on section in Astra under the appearance section of WordPress, you're going to have a couple of new options available. If you already have Astra Pro installed and you just run the update, you'll find that these are available to you but not activated by default. So what you need to do is just jump into the add-on section under appearance and Astra and you'll see you have site layouts and you'll have blog pro. Just simply activate those to make those available. Once we've done that, we can start using the customizer to create our custom layouts. So let's come to the appearance section, click on customize. That's going to take us into the WordPress customizer. You're now going to see a couple of new options available. So if we just jump over to the blog index page, just so we've got the right content, you can see this is our default layout, a typical kind of blog layout inside WordPress. So what we can do is we can jump over to the layout section, expand that out, and you'll see you now have blog archive and single posts available to you. If we jump into the blog archive, for example, you can see we now have a whole range of new options that allow us to customize the layout of our blog posts. Now, this is for the archive section, so this is where you'll see the listing of all the posts you have available. We also have the option to go in and adjust the single post, so we can control and style the way that each individual post is displayed. So, first of all, let's just jump back into the blog archive, and let's take a look at some of the options in there and how they influence the way this is laid out. Now, at the moment, we've got your typical two-thirds, one-third layout that kind of is the default layout for when you're working with the blog index in WordPress. Obviously, we can change that, but for now, we'll leave it as is. We'll just concentrate on the two-thirds section that's the actual blog posts. Now, if we take a look on the left-hand side to the customizer, you can see we've got a whole range of different options that allow us to really get down and customize how these different blog indexes are shown. First thing we have available is the basic layout. So we have at the moment, we've got the sort of the featured image at the top, the title, some information underneath it, some meta information. Then we've got a sort of brief excerpt, and then we've got the read more option. Or we can ch change those over. We can simply position the image to the right, that information to the left, or flip it over and do the opposite. So quite nice. We've also got the option to specify the number of columns we want when we're working with this sort of full width layout. So we can choose from one through to four. So you can see we can click, we can then adjust that. So we now have two columns of blog posts. If we want to, and we want to sort of get in and fine tune this, we can start adding space between those posts. So they look a little bit neater. We can apply the masonry effect. So when we have multiple posts, some may have featured images, some may have in different information. They may be of different sizes. So we can use the masonry effect to make sure that everything kind of lines up nicely and makes it a much neater looking layout. We've also got the option, which I think is a really nice feature of the new Astro blog post layouts, is the highlight first post. So when you create a new post and you add that to the top, you can see what this does is it kind of draws attention to that by making it full width, which then the remainder will pick up the layout that you've assigned to the rest of the sort of blog listings. So you can see in this instance, we'll have two columns side by side, but the first post is highlighted to make it more attention grabbing. So that's really nice. I like the way that's done. That's very simple, very easy, but also very intuitive. So let's just take that off. We can also do things like enable the date box, which will pop up a nice date in the top left hand corner style quite nicely, which obviously we can adjust that styling if we want to. We can also change the way this is displayed. Do we want to have the square information or do we want to go for circle? Again, a really nice way of showing, especially if you're kind of person that has a blog that's updated on a very regular basis, this is a great way to allow people to just quickly skim through and see what day something was posted and find out how new the information is. We can also remove the featured image padding if we wanted to make that sort of full width to the box it's actually sat in. So we can click on that. That gets rid of then the padding around the edge of it. And if we adjust our layouts, for example, go back to one column, 
you can see it picks up a really nice styling, very modern, kind of fresh and clean. Again, something I really like about this. We can then go down and we can adjust the blog excerpt content. So we can pull up, do we want the excerpt, which is a sort of abbreviated version of it, or do we want the full content so we can have, instead of having to allow people to click to go into the actual article, they can read the article on one page. So if you have shorter articles or you'd like to have that continuous piece of information to stop having to make people click through to find out and read more, you can do that easily from here as well. So let's just set that back. Next up, you can see we've got the excerpt count if we use that, so we can control exactly how many words are going to be displayed in this. If we adjust that to say, for example, 20, you'll see that that will get a much shorter version of the information that's going to be displayed as the excerpt. So again, really cool. We can fine tune and tweak this to make sure that the layout looks exactly how we want it to. We can change the read more link to make it more of a button style. So it kind of sits in line if you've got a lot of nicely styled buttons throughout your site and you want to keep that continuity. Well, you can now do that with just a simple click. Next up, we've got the post pagination, which allows us to go through and specify how this information is going to be paginated. In other words, are we going to have things like page numbers? So we have five posts per page, for example. And you can see we have options for both number and for infinite scroll. Now, infinite scroll will work very much the same kind of fashion as you have when you're looking at your timeline in Facebook. As you scroll to a certain point, it'll automatically load up the next block of information in the background. So you can kind of continually scroll until you reach the end of all the blog posts. So again, a really nice way of doing this. You can see the post pagination style. We have options for default, square and circle. So we can style those as well to make sure that the numbered styling is set up the way we want it to be. We can then go through and we can fine tune what information is going to be displayed on any of these posts. So if we just scroll back up to the top and take a look at the information we have there, you can see we can disable the featured image if we want to. So we want to keep this just text based so it's nice and light and quick. We can do that. We can also go and take off the blog meta tags so we can get rid of the post title and all those kinds of things. Again, very quick and easy. And you can see when we do things like this, we open up other information. So you can see we strip off extra things on there. So we re-enable the title and blog meta. We can then go through and fine tune that if we want to. So we can say, well, we're not bothered by the author being on there because it's one person writing everything. So we can disable that if we want to. And we say, well, we do want to put the published date in there. So we could do that. So if we don't want to put that at the top, we can simply come back up and we can say, well, we don't want to have the date box on there. We'd rather have that as part of the meta information. So you can see we can really get in and fine tune this to make it look exactly the way we want it to. We can also come down and we've got blog content width. Now at the moment, this is set to default. So we can expand that if we want to, and we can say custom. Once we do that, we now get a slider that allows us to fine tune the actual width of this. So you can see we can shrink it down or we can boost it up to make it even bigger. So again, we've got a whole range of options that allow us to fine tune this layer to get it very, very customized to fit in exactly how we like it. So that's what there is in the actual archive listings. Next up, let's take a look at what we can do with an individual blog post and how we can customize that with this new add-on for Astro Pro. Okay, so I've now jumped over and we're looking at an individual post in Astro Pro. So what we can do is we can go in and start customizing this. So in the same fashion, we're in the customizer. We're going to come over to single post this time instead of the blog archive. Click on there and you can see we now have some options available to how we can customize the layout of the individual post. So you can see we can do things like we can disable or enable the featured post. Actually, the featured image. We can also reorder these if we want to. We can say we want the title to be above the actual featured image. So you can see we can easily readjust this information just by simply dragging and dropping. Again, a really intuitive and easy way to customize your page layouts. So much the same way as we had with the archive section, we can easily enable and disable any of this information. So you can see if we wanted to, we could get rid of the categories. So we can click on there. That'll get rid of the categories. We can just dis disable and enable the author information. It's all very easy. So we can say, let's put the published date in there, for example, the read time, how long you think this is going to read, take to read, which again is a really nice way if you have a blog that has lots of information and you have a lot of readers that don't have a lot of time, well, you can give them an indication of how long it's going to take to read this particular article. Pretty cool. We also got some checkboxes that allow us to do some other things. So for example, we scroll down, you can see at the moment, there's no information about the author. Well, we can easily enable that by just checking the author info box and that'll drop in the information about the author. So if you again have lots of people or you have guest blog posts, then it's good to put this information in there. 
You've also got the option to auto load previous posts, which is quite a cool thing because what this will do is this will automatically load in the next post when the scroller gets to a certain point within the article they're reading. So this is a great way of being able to sort of keep people reading the information on your page. As they go through it, they can read more on the next article. The previous article will automatically load in so they can continue reading if they want to. So again, a really cool feature of Astro Pro. We've also got the option, if we scroll back up to the top, like we did with the archives, we could remove the padding from the image to make that nice and full width. So you can see we can easily just reorder things, fine tune and tweak this to get exactly what we want. So disable the author, for example. And you can see we can really fine tune this to get a nice looking layout. We've also got the option for single post content width. So we can click on there and you can see we have the option for default and again for custom. So we can fine tune this layout to make sure it sits exactly as we like. So with this latest update, you can see this gives us some really great functionality, some really easy ways to customize the way that our blog posts and the blog post archives are laid out. So this gives you something that if you are a blog poster or you just want to get in there and really fine tune this to make sure it kind of matches up to the way you want your blog to look, then this gives you a really good starting point. There's some really cool functions in there, for example, the auto load previous posts and so on. I think that's a really good addition to what you can do. Now, obviously, you can use this in conjunction with other aspects of the customizer. So let's just say, for example, we don't want this right-hand column. Well, we can do that easily. So we just jump back out of this section, and then we can go in and start adjusting the site layout itself. So all we really need to do is just come down to where we've got sidebar, expand that out, and you can see we can now control where sidebars are being displayed throughout our site. So you can see the default layout is to set a right sidebar. And then we can go through and we can fine tune that for the pages, the blog posts and the blog post archives. So we can easily come in and say we want no sidebar. And you can see now that strips out the sidebar in there and allows us to then override that. And our blog post is displaying the way we want it to, all the options we set up. But now we've got rid of that right distracting sidebar that we may not want to have displayed on there. Again, we've got the option we can control sidebar width if we do have a sidebar on this. So we could easily come back into that, go back to default. And if we want to, we could easily fine tune this to make it smaller, so it's less obtrusive or bigger if we wanted to sort of do that. So again, we have a huge amount of control over exactly how we want everything to be displayed and how we can fine tune and tweak it. So that pretty much wraps up my overview of these new add-ons for Astro Pro. I hope you found them useful. I hope they've shown you how you could start using them in your designs to make sure you can customize and tweak everything to get the layer that you want. Well, if you found the video useful and you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new content we add every week. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback on this video, or anything you'd like to see in future videos, please pop that in the comment section below. And until next time, take care.